Alright guys, so as you can see by this title, Social Media Updates. Now, what I mean, I'm going to get into what I mean by that, with what I would like to see, and I'm pretty sure a lot of other people would like to see as well. Now, before I fully, fully jump into this video, I have one Comment down below, because here's an idea. Me, I feel like I have covered as much topics as I can possible on this channel. I don't want to leave it because it's been doing good. However, I want to do three uploads of three types of games that fit well to the content of this channel. The first one I want to do is Grand Theft Auto V. Grand Theft Auto V, you know, has political stuff in it, like racism, religion, Illuminati, um, stereotypes of natives like Indians, uh, how the game points us out as black people, to where, to a good, honest degree, that's how most of society as us as black community act at times, you know? Not all of us, but... You know, a good majority of us do. And to show that, you know, why we need leadership in this so-called culture. Um, even, you know, what, what else it has in there? You know, just about anything that pretty much can, pretty much that relates to this channel. You know, and of course, our dreams to one day be wealthy and to make it by any means possible if we're that lucky, which, you know, I, I doubt any of us could get away with something like that in this world. So there's that one, and the next game, I'm pretty sure a lot of you may have heard about it. It's a really good game, and I do recommend it. It plays just like... It's just like the Grand Theft Auto games, Mafia 3. Mafia 3 takes place in the late, late 60s, going into the really early, early 70s. And of course, it takes place as an outsider looking in with the effects of the Mafia and what it does to the black community in terms of uh, racism, really heavy in that game, and how much of people struggle down here in the south because of that and of course you know the effects that it will have you know later on like in actual reality and how it affected us as black people down here in the south and why i say the things that i do about people down here in the south and then one of them which would be the last one which is a really great game is detroit Becoming human. That's right, Detroit becoming human. Now I have Detroit becoming human, three different types of uploads. I got my main walkthrough, my evil walkthrough, my happy walkthrough. Now that is a game to where whatever you choose in that game, it really does affect the outcome. And it's it points out just like separation between you know, humans and machines, you know, kind of like we do in the real world, you know, black versus white, human society versus machines, people losing their jobs, um, bankruptcy and debt, money, and of course it breaks out into a, a quote-unquote race civil war, and how that affects, you know, kind of like today's actual world, how that affects, you know? So let me guys know if you guys would like to see those three things and those three type of games and gameplay upload to this channel because I feel if you know they do fit into the terms of this channel however I am afraid that it's going to either kill the channel or completely fucking destroy it where people are going to leave because the gameplays that I have on my old channel, my Jazzy Entertainment channel that I left, I think it pretty much killed my channel over there because there were so many other people doing gameplays. 
but of course I had other things on that channel. So let me guys know if you guys would want to see those three games just since they fit into the the content of this channel. Let, let me know. Comment down below if you guys do. Um, so with that being said, let's get on to streaming updates to something that I feel may help people who want to take off on YouTube, but you can also have multiple sources that could help you as well. And I talked about this before, but I didn't briefly touch on it like I am in this video. I want to focus in on Instagram and Twitter. Now with me, when I began gaming, I, of course, all my gaming videos barely have any damn views. I'm being honest, like that shit, I strongly believe now that it ruined my channel. That's why I'm a bit hesitant. I want to do it on this channel, even though the three games I named do fit the content of this channel and it would pretty much work for it, I believe. But again, you guys gotta let me know. So gaming worked for me more so on Facebook rather than it did YouTube. It didn't work for me on YouTube. But if you're a gamer, right, let's say, okay, one area works for you on Twitch. Now me, I tried Twitch twice, but I just was not feeling it at all. So I pretty much abandoned Twitch. And it is what it is with that one. So not only that, it is what it is. There's no defending it. But... I feel like what could really help, you know, people who are trying to get off on YouTube, right? Like, there's Twitch, but Twitch is more so of broadcasting and gameplay. Now, me, I try to build a bulk on there, but I abandoned it. Facebook helped me with gaming. But I believe if Instagram and Twitter, and I hope that somebody that works at both these companies see this video right that okay if, if you're again if you're somebody on youtube that wants to entertain people on youtube do the exploring uh the ghost hunting the gaming i feel like the updates on both of those platforms should be 25 to 30 minutes long that way it also helps give you a promotion right not only for your video you say okay this dude has a YouTube channel, right? So let me check out this YouTube channel. Let me support it. But it will also help promote your video. Now, will that kill YouTube in a way? I truly don't believe so. Uh, YouTube pretty much partners with, if not with Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, uh, Snapchat, and Twitch and all them. So is really good promotion because think about it right you're a beginner you're having a hard time getting off the ground so you want to share certain videos to promote and to help your channel also it will bring traffic to your other platforms that you have in terms of instagram and twitter i feel like if they were to do that it would help a lot of people i know it most i know it will certainly would have helped me with my gaming because I have a lot of good game new gameplay that I have recorded that will never be seen except for on my Facebook page right so I feel like Twitter and Instagram should have those type of updates like they can do it they can most certainly do it right you've seen the update they did with the YouTube TV thing even though that didn't take off too well but think about it, right? Think about it. You can upload 25 to 30 minutes of a video that you're really proud of to, to post on those two platforms to promote your YouTube channel for your other videos as well. And it'll also help bring traffic in as well for your, for your IG page and your Twitter page. At the same time, right, 
because with the new YouTube algorithm going on, you know, a lot of people who do gameplay are fighting YouTube right now when it comes to uh, their videos because a lot of it gets copyrighted but not struck. And I know a lot of people are sick of having to mute and edit a lot of certain things out of their videos that they do. So, for example, right? Gameplay would probably be a better platform to go on a place like Twitter and Instagram, right? But also, you can promote other videos that you do on your YouTube channel to help bring in traffic. So, it, it, it has its advantages to the point where, oh, okay, so, you, let's say you get monetized on all three platforms, right? You'll get monetization to get paid from YouTube, monetization to get paid from Instagram, monetization to get paid from Twitter. Those would help people a lot financially, especially people in my position. If you guys watch my channel, and if you guys pay attention to certain videos like the Trust and Money end up interview, the fake diploma video, um, why jobs should give first timers an actual chance with people that were stuck in my position and in my position, it would really help them a lot financially if Instagram and Twitter would do that. So those people, even like myself, can bring in some money to help with bills, food, and if there's anything left over, you know, to get ourselves a, you know, a little extra something, you know? So those things right there would help a lot. So they would really have their, their advantages. That they really would. They would really help a lot of people out. And I believe and I do think that Instagram and Twitter should do updates like that. Like say, hey, if you're a content curator of whatever, whatever, and you're having a hard time getting off the ground, well, we have our updates to 25 to 30 minutes for whatever it is, video that you do that you try to promote your channel for, this, that, and the third, and if you get to a certain amount of numbers of streams and followers on these platforms, we can help and do monetization to where you can receive some pay. And by pay, I mean not the whole five dollar thirty dollar credit shit because that's money you have to come back let's be honest so in terms of pay like how youtube pays people not a whole five dollar thirty dollar credit that we're gonna pay you but that you're gonna have to pay us back for it because you know, no people don't want that people want actual Again, if you're a content creator of anything and you're trying to get off the ground, I believe Twitter and Instagram would really be great if they were to do updates like that, like I'm talking about, like do the 25 minutes, 30 minute updates to where people can upload full content because it would really, really help. Yes, it will take a while for the videos to upload that way through Instagram. But it would be worth it. Twitter, you can go straight through your what? Computer, laptop, to upload videos like that. And there you go, you know? So, it has its advantages. It is something I believe they should take advantage of. And something that would help. So... great great thing for them to do so with that being said man not too much else to say um again let me guys know if you guys want to see those three games on that ch on this channel since it fits the content of it comment down below and also what do you think about twitter and instagram that they should do those type of upload updates to help people I believe it should work. I believe they should do it. It would help. So with that being said, man, I'm out.